What's up, Vanguard people? It's Zach Zach here. I got a deck profile for you guys. This deck profile is for Darkness Dragon World Tarot build with Actor Knights as being the focus. Not the fool, mostly just Actor Knights' judgment. Um, Darkness Dragon World offers a lot of support for Actor Knights' judgment because of a lot of the attributes that some of the cards have. So we'll kick it off. First, we have four of the buddies. Actor Knight's Emperor. He is a 5-3-5, really beefy stats, but his downside is if they don't have another Terran on the field, this card can't even attack. So it, it's pretty easy for your opponent just to kind of ruin your offense by, with a kill spell or something during your turn. Next we have Actor Knight's Death. Uh, call is, uh, is one life, so you pay a life, but he's a 5-1-2 with basically Spectral Strike. Curse of the Terror. When an attack by this card destroys an opponent's monster, deal one damage. Pay attention to the attributes he shares. He has a he's a Tarot and a Death attribute. Next we play three, Actor Knight's Tower. Um, only three because he's only has the one crit. He still has the 5,000 clearing power, but he is again a Tarot and a Destruction attribute. So we play three of him. Next we jump to size zeros real quick. We play three zeros. Actor Knight's Hanged Man. He's a 3-1-3 size zero. Costs one gauge to play. Um, he's nice because Judgment is a size three. And he's really easy to kind of chump block if you don't have anything better. So you play Actor Knights to try and clear the way so you can hit with three crit. Next we have a size two Actor Knight. He has 6,000 attack, which is a very convenient number for clearing. Two crit, one defense. He is also a tarot and a destruction. Next, maybe some of, like, among the MVP candidates of the great twos, we have Actor Knight's High Priestess. We play this at three. Um, arguably, you could play it at four in place of the Actor Knight's Chariot Destruction attribute card. This is a 317 tarot defense attribute. No skills, just really solid defense. Um, it's pretty good all around. It's easy to sit on with the tarot equivalent of Drago Energy. And finally, for the creatures, we play the theme of the entire deck. Size 3, 636, Actor's Knight, Actor Knight's Judgment. So, call cost, pay 3. When this card enters the field, if there are 5 or more tarot in your drop, draw 2 cards. If there are 5 or more destroy in your drop, draw 2 cards. Or, it? destroy up to 2 cards. And if there are five or more defense in your drop, you gain three life. Um, he's pretty nuts, and he also has the attributes of tarot, destruction, and defense. So he shares all three attributes he needs to activate himself. And you'll have noticed that a lot of the creatures are the destruction attribute. So that leaves space that you might want to have a lot of defense type spells. So the first spell we have is the Drago Energy, kind of Drago Energy equivalent for the Actor Knights. It's called Fortune Shield. Choose a monster in battle, and for this battle, it, give it plus two defense and counterattack. Then, if the knight, if the card has Actor Knights in its name, you give it another plus three. So, for every card, every creature in this deck, you have a card that gets plus five thousand defense and counterattack. For this size two here, that means it's going to have plus five defense, twelve defense. That clears nothing. Then not, there's not a whole lot of stuff that can even link attack to clear over that. And it's got three attacks, so it can still kind of clear out the monsters that your opponent will play because they might be playing a high attack end monster with like a 5-1-1 one, one, or 5-2-1. Stuff that this can easily clear with a counterattack. We play this at 4 and, pay attention, it is a tarot slash defense attribute. Next for spells, we have Death Grip. Um, cast cost, pay one gauge, destroy a size 2 or less. It's kind of like a shield in place of this deck, and it has a very good attribute of death slash destruction. Next card we have is a spell, Death Shield. Um, you only, only cast this when you are being attacked. Pay one gauge, nullify the attack, and destroy a size one or less monster that attacked on your opponent's field. Um, in all honesty, I don't play this card very often. I usually end up gauging it, mostly because it has it shares dual attributes of defense and destruction, which is really helpful. And if you can remember where you gauge cards, this is very important. If you can remember where you gauge cards, it is the most efficient use for this deck because if you can gauge it, you know exactly where you put these uh, defense and destruction type cards, and you gauge them right away, you'll fill your drop pretty quickly with the cards necessary to set up all three of the judgments effects. 
Next we play generic draw type cards, Abyss Symphony. Um, with Judgment, if you get Judgment off early, you rarely dip below the 6 damage requirement. However, if you do not draw into Judgment and you're playing these kind of defensive games until you can draw into the card you need, Judgment, for pushes for game, being able to dip and draw is pretty convenient, especially if you can play Abyss Symphony, then Judgment, you've drawn 4 cards this turn. Next we have a really cool card that Actor Knights have. Justice Hammer. Pay 4, Gage, or if you have 2 Tarot's on the field, destroy a card on the field. So this destroys weapons, set spells, impacts, any card on the field. Very convenient. You can get rid of anything that might be a problem to you. And just like Judgment, Judgment can destroy any 2 cards on the field as well. So it really screws with a lot of strat strategies and what potentially makes this deck very, very competitive. Next is a card that I only play one of, Devil's Stigma. Um, I can't cast it during the final phase, oh no. Uh, counter, destroy a monster on your field, and if you do, put two cards from the top of your deck into the gauge and gain one. Um, I'd play two, potentially, but right the, the reason for playing more is because Judgment costs three gauge to play. And let's say you're playing a very tight game on gauge. If you manage to have a Devil Stigma in your hand when your opponent goes to clear Judgment because he's only got that 6,000 uh, defense, you Devil Stigma, you get 2 gauge, you charge and draw, and you get another Judgment, you can play it right away. But right now it's only at 1. And we only, then we play only 2, a Black Dragon Shield, with the, with the 7k defense and the counterattack card. Um, we only play 4 shields besides the destruction we have available in the deck. And in all honesty, it works very well. The, the generic cannot negate a counter uh, link attack card. And then lastly, we have Excel End. Um, judgment requires five attribute cards in the drop zone. And what better way to get cards with certain attributes in your drop zone by milling five? So Excel End is put five cards from the top of your deck into the drop and then gauge one. So really useful for jumping right into the 5 destruction, 5 defense, because you're almost always going to hit the tarot requirement quickly. And we play 3 cell ends. Um, that's the deck profile. Um, I've been playing tarot, or playing the Actor Knights deck off and on recently, and it's really, really annoying. It's ridiculously good because you're... I feel like when most people play, they play thinking that their weapons are completely safe. You don't flip over the Danger World flag. I don't have to worry about double guillotine. But all of a sudden, Actors Knights and Justice Hammer come into play, making it so you can destroy anything? You, you mean you set a Secret Sword and I blew up the Secret Sword by playing two Actor Knights and playing Justice Hammer, or playing Actor Knights Judgment with five destruction in the drop? That's mean. That clears the center, that clears the side, that clears the weapon, it clears set spells, anything you were trying to bank on to to recover for your, the next turn is gone. So, but that's the Actonized deck profile. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. I mean, as most decks are, they have some room for changing. Like I think the Devil's Stigma could go up, but I really don't know what I would take down. The life requirement costs on Actonized deck's kind of annoying, but having the Spectral Strike size one is really helpful. But that's it. Um, Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, look for me on Twitter. Yes, I do have a Twitter. I do post very irregularly. So, I mean, I post when I remember to. But if you want to keep up with me, it's ZackZag on Twitter. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.